Welcome to another episode here on Your Digital Makeover. My name is Jerry Colbert, and in today's episode, I'm going to go over my home inventory template for Notion. And it's all coming up next. So in today's episode, I want to give you all a brief overview of a home inventory uh, template that I created in Notion. So this is for Notion. If uh, you have Notion, this is a pretty cool um, home inventory uh, template that I created. And I, I kind of use it in my overall uh, personal Notion dashboard. Uh, to keep track of my home inventory, but also link it to other databases for other things. Uh, and I find it very useful. Now, I have a, um, a demo right here, so I don't have all my stuff in there, but I just kind of want to give you all kind of just a little brief overview of it. Just to show you what um, is cool about this um, home inventory dashboard. Okay. So, if you see here, we're on the home inventory section here. And... Right here, we have a gallery that's showing uh, what's in our home inventory right now. And right now, this is, like I said, just a demo, but I have just one item there. And down below here, you see you have the system database. So this is where the actual database lives, and this is where your linked database is at. So typically, you'd want to leave this alone. So you can move this to another section of your um personal Notion workspace if you want, um, or you can just leave it right here, um, either which way you want to do it. Uh, typically, you would not use that. You just want to just keep that closed, and you're just going to want, want to go ahead and just use the actual linked database. Now, you see I have an all items for a gallery view, and then I also have an all items uh, for a table. Uh, some people like the gallery view. Some people like the table view. You could always just Move them over like that if you want that one first or what have you. But I typically have it on that. Okay. And you see here I have it. Uh, there's a label uh, for living room. And if we look over here, um, you'll see that I have it grouped by location. Okay. So if I had more things in there, like maybe I had, let's go ahead and create another um, database entry. Okay. Maybe I have a microwave, right? And we'll go ahead and put the make in here. Maybe it's an, a Samsung microwave. Um, you can put the model number in there. M maybe it's not in the living room. So we want to select maybe it's in the kitchen, right? So then we'll want to go ahead and put uh, the serial number. And then we're going to put the category. And you got all these categories to, to choose from. Okay. So maybe I'll put appliances there. Put condition. Maybe I'll put it as good. And then you fill out all this rest of stuff. And you can put in where you purchased it from, what the purchasing date was and such, right? Warranty information in files and media. Maybe you want to put on this microwave, maybe you want to put the uh, warranty information. Maybe you want to put the, um, the manual right here. Whatever it is you want to do, you can create it all here. And then you can also uh, add a picture of it, uh, add a cover, a picture of the microwave. And then you can just go ahead and close that out. And if you see here, now I have living room, what's in my living room right here, and what's in my kitchen right here. So these are all handy little tabs to show you what's, uh, you know, you know, depending on your areas of the house. Now, you can change that if you want. Um, like, for instance, if you were just to go into here, uh, you see where I have living room. Maybe you have different stuff. So maybe you want to add, you know, a, a, you know, maybe a third bedroom or whatever. Uh, you can just add it to here, and then it's going to add it to your uh, home inventory uh, section here uh, for locations and separate it and group it out like that, okay? Um, and then, of course, as you see here on this um, uh, gallery, I have the name of the item, what the brand is, um, when I purchased it, uh, where I purchased it from, the amount, and uh, the location, uh, now, of course, you can take that off since you already know you're in the living room section. And all you have to do there is just go over here, right? And you're going to go to properties. And then maybe I just want to take that, that off of there. So that's all you have to do. Just that simple. 
in the all items table uh, database, it's the same deal here. Um, you have, um, you can just open it up and it opens up the side peak and you can just go ahead and fill in all that information and keep all your items uh, for your home inventory all in one nice little uh, cozy place. Okay. Uh, but that's, I mean, really ain't much else to show you about that. Um, just wanted, like I say, just to do this real quick video, just show you uh, this template. Uh, I am selling this template to help support this channel. So if you're interested in this template, um, just click that link right down below in the description field. Uh, and it'll take you right over there. I'm only selling it for $5. Um, but I think it's a, it's a really handy, anyways, it works out for me. It's really handy inventory control system uh, for maybe your personal life. So that's all I got for you all today. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you ask me down there in the comment section. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want to see more of these videos in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. With that being said, I want to wish you all a wonderful week and I'll catch you in the next episode. Take care.